Hey guys, it's Ryan at International Barrels again. Today we're gonna to do a quick video on how to headspace a barrel nut 22 rimfire prefit. So we're gonna use a Bergera B14 and we're gonna show you how to make sure everything lines up properly and we're gonna headspace it so it's nice and tight but not too tight uh, so that we can maximize the accuracy from these, uh, these style of prefits. So the tending threads are huge, as you can see, and the extractor slots are regular size. But on the top of the action, you have a little notch, and that's so that they can index the barrels in there with the extractor slots. But with ours, we're gonna run two thread pitches, the tannin threads and the thread pitch for the barrel nut on top. And we've increased the size of the extractor cuts by three times so that you have adjustability. And the barrel nut goes on over top onto that top thread pitch. There you go. So we're gonna also slide the wrench over top and something, a little something to protect it. We're gonna tighten it into the vise. And we're gonna close the bolt on the action. And we don't want to forget to add the recoil lug because that's kind of an integral part of the whole thing. So once we have that, we'll put a little bit of anti-seize or a little bit of grease on the threads and we're gonna screw the action on until it stops. Once it stops, we're gonna look at it from underneath and we're gonna open the bolt and we're gonna turn the action a few more times until we get uh, good closure and good seal between the bolt and the uh, chamber and that the extractor slots are lined up properly. So once she's closed, we know we're tight. That's good. So now we'll open the bolt and we'll put in a go gauge. And we're gonna slide the bolt closed and just make sure that the extractors engage over the rim of the case. Go as tight as you can to get that extraction on there. Once you've got that, then just hand tighten up the barrel nut, loosen up the vise a bit and flip the action over so that it's upright and tighten her down again. So at this point, you would probably want to use the lot of ammunition that you're going to be shooting instead of the go gauge, but obviously we're indoors. So using the live ammo is not a good idea. So we're gonna use the go gauge again. I'm gonna put the go gauge in and we're going to close the bolt. Once we have the bolt closed, we're just gonna loosen up the barrel nut just a hair so that you got a little bit of room to play. And we're gonna turn the action in the direction of tighter, which is to the right. Once you get it nice and tight on there, you're gonna tighten up the, the barrel nut by hand and open the bolt. Don't eject the go gauge, but what you're gonna look for is just a little bit of pressure on the downstroke on the bolt. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it to just flop down. You just want just a little bit of resistance. So keep turning it tighter until you get that little bit of resistance. If you go too tight, I can tell you from personal experience that it's gonna throw you off when you're on a barricade somewhere. Okay, once you've found that little bit of tightness on the downstroke, a little bit of resistance, tighten her up by hand. Looks like I'm still fidgeting a bit there. Okay, got it where I want it. Nice and tight. We're gonna put the barrel wrench on. And we're gonna tighten up the barrel wrench to around 70 pounds or tighter. And that's about all it takes. 